Good morning, good morning, BigSquareRoadRoot.com with your morning horn of Z's, your sip of coffee. Um, <clears throat> had it all planned, what I was going to talk about. Got an email this morning that I turned into an article. I posted it on the Road to Ruta. <clears throat> Go to RoadToRuta.com and scroll down a little bit, and you'll see an article called After the Red Pill, Fear or Freedom. Um, before I get into this, I will be posting on Patreon and uh, Private Road my thoughts on altcoins, how massively important they are for the future transition. I've been hearing a lot of people, maximalists come out, you know, when Bitcoin has a lot of power over other altcoins, the maximalists are, oh, Bitcoin, only Bitcoin. They are so clueless. I mean, I even heard Max Kaiser be saying this stuff and I'm like, are you kidding me? Do you understand what is happening? The change is, it is not just a monetary change. It's a change over everything. We're going to lose trust in everything, especially the exchanges. So absolutely, we need a crypto solution to that. And it's not going to come from Bitcoin. I hope you people understand this is more than just some little transition. This is huge. This is the reason the Federal Reserve was put into place. This is the reason why all these wars are, wars are fought. This is a massive change. It, it, we're taking out the bad guys, literally, and that's kind of what I'm getting into. So I'm going to talk later today on Patreon and on Private Road about the massive undervaluation of altcoins and the importance of having so many of these altcoins in your portfolio because we need to use them. The use case isn't there yet because the old system's still running. The minute that old system fails, which is could be any minute, we will absolutely need these altcoins. They'll be so much more important than Bitcoin. Bitcoin is great as a store of value. That doesn't help many people, does it? No. Store of value? Nah. Kind of important. Getting food, being able to buy a cup of coffee, being able to buy medicine? Absolutely important. And it's only when the old system breaks down that we really realize how important these altcoins will be. And I'll go over that today. But let's talk about this thing. Is the are the bad guys going to go away? Or are we going to be stuck under their rule for the rest of our lives? Losing freedom every single day. Losing our free will every single day. So here's the... It's partly an uh, email I sent to a couple friends of mine who are freaking out about the bad guys' control. And I said, these bad guys have one power, and that power over us is the monetary system. If we can take that back, that opens up the whole world because they lose power when they lose the monetary system because they lose trust, and they'll be exposed. So here's the deal. I wrote this article called After the Red Pill, Fear or Freedom, because a lot of people, when they find out about, oh, my God, you know, we've been controlled for so long, I'm part of all this all these trusts and my, my, I've lost my soul, even though I don't ever remember giving up my power or my free will. So I start off with the, the uh, Road to Ruta, Wishes and Rainbows, my favorite part of that uh, comic book. Remember, this comes from the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston. And this is Ruta, who's on Greenspan, talking to a grandmother, which is a Fed chairman, Arthur Burns, back in the 60s. And Ruta says, why can't we go back onto a gold standard? Mind you, she uses colored flowers. And here's what Arthur Burns, grandma, says. This is coming from the Fed, Boston. Because the people who live in colored land are very big and might accidentally step on a pebble person who visits. All our people are afraid to go there. Who the hell is the Fed afraid of? That's right. All the people, all our people are afraid to go there. And besides, nobody knows how to reach Colorland, which is a gold standard. Some say you get there through the caves near Cobblestone Canyon, which is the Grand Canyon. And Ruta says, I'm not afraid, Grandma. I often plan those cases, and someday I will bring, find the way to Colorland and bring some of those colors back. Somebody at the Fed is afraid it's somebody. And then somebody stood out and said, I'm not afraid, bring it on. I think it was Alan Greenspan back in the 1960s when he invented the first computer programs. 
for the financial system using root A, computer programming term in Fortran, as the basis, which I've shown. I mean, that's not under dispute. Anybody goes back in, back in time to when the first uh, financial computing programs are written, we'll find that. So here's the article I wrote. What happens after you take the red pill? Many people are just discovering that our past and our present reality is not what we thought. It is a fact that humanity has been controlled and manipulated for hundreds of years. Many newly red-pilled are sinking into a depression because they think they are helpless in the face of such a powerful entity that has controlled our lives for so long. They believe that there will be no freedom in our future because it will never be allowed by the controllers. I recently got an email from some very close friends <clears throat> in the crypto space expressing how distressed they were that there was a plot to control our lives through identity numbers issued at birth. They were genuinely distressed that a DTCC subsidiary called GMEI Utility or a more detailed official description from their website states, Business Entity Data, BED, BV, a wholly owned subsidiary of the Depository, Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation, DTCC, owns and operates the Global Market Entity Identifier Utility, GMEI, Legal Entity Identifier, LEI Solution in the Federated Global LEI System. That's from the website. There's a link to the website on, the, on my website in this article. The idea is that our controllers are all powerful and they control us as assets in their portfolio of assets. They control our very lives here on earth and can do with us what they will and treat us like any assets under their control. All well and good for their plans, but I don't recall ever giving them my permission to monetize my life, my physical being, or my soul for that matter. I have never ceded over my free will to Seed and Company, which is the owner of all the assets at the DTCC, and never will. So I don't give a shit if they have assigned me a number in their system to control my life. They can do what they want. It's a free will universe. It doesn't mean I have to do anything for them if I choose not. But my friends are genuinely distressed, and I mean that. I mean to the core, such that it keeps them up at night, so after their latest sky is falling email to me, I sent them both a response explaining what's about to happen and why. And this is the email I sent them this morning. Hi, boys. Wow. You guys are so deep down this rabbit hole, it seems like you have totally given up your personal power and your free will to the bad guy's version and vision of our future. That's really not a good place for you to be moving into during this transition. Clearly, it is not sitting well with either of you. And there's good reason for that. I get why you are so distraught. If I believed that they would continue to control my life in the future and saw no end to the road, I'd be feeling worse and more afraid than you guys are right now. But all this bullshit we've had to live with ends when the banking system is destroyed by the derivative meltdown. All of it. That's what the Road to Ruta documents from the Fed Boston are all about. It's all about the end of fiat money and the end of the big people's power over us. The issuance and control of money is where they got their power in the first place. And when it's gone, everything changes. The current and past paradigm of how things work will be destroyed. 100% gone, including their trust, their schemes, their control mechanisms are all 100% reliant and dependent on their control of our money and its use for power over us. This is not a fanciful hope or dream that I made up in my head. Read the Fed Boston comic books and documents that I discovered in 2007. It's the good guys within the U.S. Federal Reserve and the U.S. government that are pulling the plug. Yes, the comic is called Wishes and Rainbows, but the people behind the Road to Ruta theory are real and have the power to destroy our old rulers through the, the destruction of their power center, which is fiat money. If you want to know why, then watch my video below and read the teacher's guide called The Road to Ruta. And here's a link to the teacher's guide right to the Boston Fed. It's right there. It's a Wishes and Rainbows comic book 
and the teacher's guide. And then I go on and think about who the players are, who Stephen Duvaux is, who Alan Greenspan is, what Ruta represents, and what their plan was all along. Root A is the root basis of our entire electronic monetary system. Without it, everything stops. Much like the financial chaos that happened in September of 2008, when we were hours away from a total collapse because of a computer-controlled derivative meltdown. That's the planned end of their control, a computer derivative derivative trading Armageddon at the end of the road to Ruta. September 2008 proved that they do not have total control. It was only the bailout that saved the banks in September of 2008. My favorite passage in the whole teacher's guide is on page four, right after they launch into dozens of questions, or right before they launch into dozens of questions and propose solutions about how to run things in the future after the crash. Remember, this is coming directly from the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston. Here's a quote from that from the teacher's guide. Quote, the fact that Pebbleton will never be the same following the appearance of colored flowers seems clear. Yes, things will never be the same when the old system crashes. That fact is absolutely clear when you consider the scope of the global economic meltdown. Truthfully, the loss of money is not even the most important aspect of this transition. It's the loss of faith in the controllers and the rulers that you guys are so afraid of today. Look at what's happening right now with the attempted IMF bailout in Argentina. The people aren't falling for it again. They have lost faith in their controllers and it will only get worse. Imagine a world without controllers. That's where my future lies. And I will continue to spread the message because faith and hope are powerful in manifesting our future reality. Combine that with the actions taken by the good guys that created the Road to Ruta documents and you will see that our freedom is very achievable when the old system crashes. Now, I'm not a very religious man, but the Bible speaks of 1,000 years of peace that follows the takedown of the bad guys. I think it's coming fast, and I think I'm ready to start as soon as possible. I love you both. Fix. (laughs) I get the chills even when I read it. Because we can take these bastards down. All it takes is faith and hope and the actions of the people behind the scenes, and it is happening. We cannot, cannot be walking into this thing with fear. Because if you walk into it with fear, you're going to lose. Every time. We have to stand up and say, my life. My country, my life. You don't own me because you have a number and decided 100 years ago that you're going to invent some stupid system. That's not how it works anymore. Sorry. After it, I have posted, put up the Road to Ruta, discovering the Road to Ruta video that I did, explaining what all is going on behind the scenes. This is long before Q. Q is just part of it. It is a visible part today. But the real action started a long time ago in the 1960s with some guy who wrote a a paper called Golden Economic Freedom about the freedom from our current monetary system. And then, yes, cryptos are part of it now, and a big part. But the key is getting rid of these bad guys. And the key to doing that is taking away their power, and they only have one seat of power. And that is the monetary system. So that's why I believe that we are headed for a full crash. I think it is absolutely necessary. We cannot give these people any longer time to readjust things so they can change their strategy on how to control our lives. Our role will be, one, spreading the news. Spreading the news that there is hope the next time they come to us for bailout, the answer must be no, or we will lose everything. If the answer is no, the controllers no longer have their monetary system to control things with, and they get exposed, and we can take them out. That's what I have for you today. Uh, I get very emotional when I talk about this stuff because I think it's it's 
inbred in me. This was my calling to spread the word that there is a way out. And that way out has to do with destroying the derivative market that has plagued humanity. And you take out the money, you take out our controllers. And all these bad things they have planned for us, their, their plans go right out the window. And we go back to freedom and free will. And to get there, we need to shed this fear. I have no fear of these criminals. I have fight. I will always fight for freedom. And I hope everybody else, I know people on the road to Rudar, some of my good friends, can't quite understand it yet. And that's okay. I will keep fighting and spreading the word. And lots of my friends are doing the same thing. And I think it's up to us to do it. Anyway. This is Big Road to Talk to you later.